<laughs> Rolf says, uh, where is Ethan Leibovitz these days? I don't know where Ethan is. Still. He blocked me. He told me about two years ago that he was putting me on notice uh, the, about the postcards. <laughs> and uh, then he blocked me, and I've never heard from him again. Correct. So you know what's going anymore. on with Ethan? He failed to post bail, so he will be sitting in jail until his court date, which I believe is on the 24th. Wait, he's in jail? He is in jail. What happened? Uh, he got, uh, well, there's a, a bit of a story. I, I went over part of it in a YouTube video on my channel, but apparently back in November, he uh, threatened or otherwise uh, harassed yes. the uh, district attorney for, um, for in our room, uh, Bronx County there in New York. And then uh, he got three charges. I think one was for the harassment. One was for doing it over the phone. And then there was a third charge that I can't remember. And he was basically ROR'd. And if you don't know what that means, he was released on his own recognizance. And they put a restraining order on him not to communicate with the Queens. It wasn't, it wasn't Bronx. It was the Queens County DA that he could no longer communicate with the Queens County DA directly. That's what his attorney is responsible for. And he, uh, was about two weeks ago. He did it again anyway. And so two days later, the police came and picked him up, put mm. him in jail until his arraignment. He pled not guilty. They put him on. Uh, the bond was set at 50,000 cash or 100,000 uh, uh, secured surety bond. He posted partially the cash bond. And since he couldn't do it in full, they they are keeping him in jail. Wow. Well, I hate to hear that anybody's in jail, but mm -hmm. I mean, you do got to follow the law. Yeah. Speaking of people that uh, harass and uh, threaten people, what's up with our friend, the Texan, the, the Ethan was advising yeah, uh, on a uh, pending, not, a pending um, court case with Adam Aaron. Yeah, last I knew about that one, he um, asked for his third extension of time out to, I want to say, it was either May or June. Uh, and uh, Adam Aaron's lawyer uh, filed in opposition. We still haven't heard back from the court on that. But he's, he's been warned by the court because he uh, he put in his attached document the unfinished uh, statement of facts. The court has warned him twice, and Adam Aaron's lawyers have warned him as well that these sorts of conspiratorial pleadings will not be heard, and he should not do that. Speaking of uh, conspiratorial pleadings, do you have any updates on Donahue George? I heard he has a court I case. I haven't been following him. I've been trying to get a hold of the uh, court uh, the case number for that, so I could look into it further. I had it at one point and cleared it off my pacer and I haven't been able to find it again. I'm I'm really interested to follow that case. And I'm hoping that we get one filed in federal court in Louisiana from our other friend, 